movieweb.com. All through junior high, John Farley struggled to keep up. Are you going to be a loser? No, sir. Rhetorical, Farley. I already know the answer. You are a disgrace to fat, gelatinous, out of shape little kids the world over. I can't hang on. Don't you even think about letting go. From what I understand, both of you guys wore jock straps through the entire production of this film. I did. Just you. Even right now. Yeah. You still have it on. Yeah. Same one. I only wore Never one. It. I just wore it for the wrestling stuff. I, uh, no, wait, that's when I didn't wear it. That was my mistake. <laughs> uh, but no I, no, I didn't really wear a jock strap. Well, if you're not doing it in the wrestling stuff, doesn't it get, get a little uncomfortable when you guys are wrestling around like that? There's your stuff flopping everywhere? Uh, all day long. That's why I wear it all the time. My stuff's abnormally hard. Uh-huh. Yeah. So <laughs> it, vitamins? Yeah, I take yeah. a lot of weird stuff. Calcium. Yeah. Oh, yeah. calcium will break right off, though. Right? Yeah, I don't well. do too much of that. Uh, no, I, you know what, I actually, I, yeah, I, I have a tuck around thing, a little belt, I belt it up in the back. Duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> Duct tape. So what's your book about? Oh, um, well, it teaches people how to release painful memories so they can rebuild their self-esteem. It's called Letting Go, How to Get Past Your Past. I'm already past my past. That's why it's called my past. Well, some people find my book helpful. A lot of losers out there, I guess. Well, I really like the theme of this movie that this guy takes something very negative in his life and makes something positive out of it, even though he doesn't see that until the very end. Now, have you ever had a negative experience or person kind of affect you in a way that you've created something very positive out of the experience? Not, nothing's jumping to mind. You know, I, I definitely didn't like PE, but you know, when I think about it, if, if I had had somebody more more demanding or more uh, more of like a drill sergeant maybe who had forced me to do it then that could have been better that could have improved my life somehow but as it was i think my guys were more apathetic i mean i didn't like any of them but none of them were gonna actually force me to participate From uh, the definition of a muse is somebody who provides artistic inspiration. So Mr. Woodcock is pretty much a muse for this guy, isn't he? Mm-hmm. For your character. What's me? <laughs> yeah. He was a muse because I got inspiration, even though I didn't know it. But yeah. I got like I became a better person um, through the experience of the, of, throughout the film. So he's my muse. Yes. What cocks my muse? He is. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? You just made me realize something about Woodcock. You have to kill him? No. I, I, I gotta let go of my animosity towards him. Be the bigger man. How the hell do you do that? Open up a dialogue. Like I say in my book, the shortest distance between two people is communication. Man, you must just get laid everywhere you go. I'll see you later, Netterman. Yeah, I'll see you, John. John Farley, the king! So, at the end of this movie, your character seems to be the only one who has never been affected in a positive way by Mr. Woodcock. Now, am I seeing that in the wrong way, or is he the reason you have the pizza job and the pool van? Right, you're saying, were it not for Mr. Woodcock, my character would actually be like a crackhead living in the street. Yeah. I, that's, you know, I never looked at it that way, but that's a valid point. That is a valid point. I guess, uh, you know, maybe Mr. Woodcock is responsible for the aspirations that my character has to have a pool business. How is working with uh, Craig Gillespie? I hear he takes comedy really seriously. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's different than other things you've worked on, but what was that experience like for you? Well, I, I think, you know, I, I don't think you should take anything too seriously, but I think that comedy should come from a place of realness. So if you have a script that's 
innately funny because of the the characters, the dialogue, and the situation, then you should play it real and it will be funny. Whereas I think comedies that I don't appreciate are when it's becoming cartoonish. So I, I, I liked it. I liked the, the, the approach to this. Barley. There is no truer test of the human spirit than wrestling. That's called a takedown. Get up, Barley. There are many kinds of takedowns. Today, we're going to cover some of my favorites. Okay, this is called the head and arm. This is called the single leg sweep. Step, you sweep. This is called the fireman's throw. Shoot the crotch, collapse the hip, and slingshot. Tell me about the wrestling scene. There's a scene where we have a big wrestling match, <clears throat> and we kind of come head to head, and I uh, take him on, and I realize um, I'm venting out and, and explaining why I'm so upset with everything, and uh, at the end, I realized that he was right, and I became a better person because of him, because he's my muse. Well, I was reading the press notes, and there's a little story in there about you and Susan Sarandon in the trailer. Is that a true story? You put pictures Son of, of a bitch. her everywhere. <laughs> hey, Do you know what I'm talking I, about? She started it. I had just followed through, and you would have done the same thing. Oh, yeah, just the fact you did. Well, I'm sorry. I never told him. You never told him. Where was that in the press paper? Is there really something in the press papers about me and Susan? Yeah, it says you put pictures of her all over your trailer. Oh, oh that part. Okay. Oh, okay. It didn't okay, go into fine. the other stuff. Okay. Yes, I did. I wanted to make that. her feel like I was a stalker, so I put a bunch of pictures all over the trailer and invited her over and just didn't refer to them at all. It was pretty good. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny, yeah. I mean, I, and I think, I think she actually uh, believed it for a, a day or two. Billy Bob Thornton, Sean William Scott, Ethan Supley, with Amy Puller and Susan Sarandon. You're going down, Woodcock. You must like getting spanked, Farley. I guess it runs in the family. I'm going to get inside his wheelhouse and spin him like a top. Are you OK? Rhetorical question, Woodcock. Mr. Woodcock. 